Hello everyone. So it has happened. The first leg has dropped. Brie just dropped it like a little bit ago and I nearly missed it because I'm getting ready for a wedding. So my phone is like way far away from me like playing my audiobook <laughs> and I'm not paying attention because I'm just trying to get my makeup done and everything to go in 45 minutes. I am not going to tell you what I'm choosing for this prompt. The prompt is to read a book that you didn't pay for. But I will update you on my progress. But this is going to be for a different vlog that I can't tell you about yet. But I'm excited to read it. And I'll tell you if I'm making it because it is like a 700 page book. We have to pay 700 GRC to fly. But this is a romance LGBT author and 700 pages. And I think I can do it because I don't have very many plans on Saturday. I'm free on Sunday. And I'm planning on just reading this book all day. I can do it. I know I did it for <laughs> uh, House of Sky and Breath last year. So I'm going to do it right off the bat again. That's the plan. And I will keep you updated. But first I have to go to this wedding tonight, make it through that, and then we will come back tomorrow. Hello everyone. So I think yesterday was a pretty successful day, even though we ended up with a DNF, because I actually finished two books yesterday one for the readathon and one for not but we're, we're gonna we'll get there so i ended up dnfing my long book and since it was pretty long like i read almost 400 pages of it to hit 50 percent i decided to uh use the train rather than plane for that and just keep going uh so we've we've done that and then we had a detour yesterday from brie and that was a fun time i posted a picture of my rubber tree which is basically a pet to me because I look I talk to it I spend time taking care of it and I love it so much it's right over there that's why I keep looking over there and then in the afternoon I ended up finishing Sunbringer by Hannah Canner this is not a sightseeing book this was just a book I had left over from May that I really wanted to get done before too much longer because I love this series so so much and I was having such a good time reading this I didn't want to forget everything that was happening uh, I am gonna have to reread this though because I definitely I wasn't feeling a hundred percent yesterday and I ended up falling asleep in like a couple of the last chapters of the audiobook and having to re-listen to them even though I was having such a good time and everything was so intense I just like hit a wall fell asleep for a little bit woke up rewound but like someday I want to experience it as like a whole thing so that's how this went uh this gets five stars I absolutely love God Killer and Sunbringer and I am so excited that the follow-up to this hit just as hard for me as the first book did so after finishing Sunbringer I ate dinner and then I started watching Lexi's sprints uh that she had going and I decided to borrow a graphic novel called The Heartless Prince and this was just the story of a young woman. I've seen this on my Instagram for years because a creator that I have bought like enamel pins from like uh created it years ago and it was super cute. Um, I really like her art style. Obviously, I've bought her art and followed her for years, and she created this graphic novel where a princess from a kingdom that has, like, been attacked by witches, um, she was orphaned, so she went and lived with, like, a neighboring kingdom who found her. And she grows up, has this ability to sense witches, and then the prince from the other kingdom who, like, she grew up with, she's in love with him, and his heart is stolen by witches and she goes on a little adventure to get it back. This was very short. Uh, I think it was just over 150 pages. So it was short. It was pretty simple. It was a fast read. It's actually kind of just what I needed to like reset after something so complex of Sunbringer and make me want to keep reading for the rest of the week because I could have easily gone into a reading slump after finishing Sunbringer, but I read that and kind of reset and kind of just had a relaxing evening. And then I decided to keep going with every time you hear that song by Jenna Voris and this is the book that I want to use for book that has less than a thousand ratings on Goodreads. When I featured this in my recommendations video it had 500 ratings now it has 600 so I want to read this this week if I'm going to count it for this prompt because I don't want it to go over a thousand ratings while I'm <laughs> like reading it. So we're going to try to finish this next 
I'm hoping to get some reading in at lunch. I also read some of The Witch Would Not by Olivia Atwater last night. I'm not counting this for anything, but this is an arc that I got that I have sitting around that I also am 30% into. And uh, if it fits for anything, I will, I will count it. Um, and if that rule is fine, I will count it. Uh, but I just, um, I don't, I'm not planning on counting this for anything. It's just sort of a book I'm reading on the side. So every time you hear that song is my next romance. And then I also have um, Wake Me Most Wickedly by Felicia Grossman that I was thinking of starting. So lots of things on the go here. Uh, but honestly, I'm kind of just waiting for the next prompt to drop at this point since I have to go to work this morning. I've been watching some booktube and trying to just uh, go through my morning routine rather than trying to like rush and read a bunch of books this morning because I'm in the city. I've done some sightseeing. I did the detour. I'm in a good spot and I'm not going to like overly stress. So that is my update for now. Hello everyone. So we have just gotten our second prompt for Amazing Readathon and it is to read a book with dual POV. So my current book, every time you hear that song, would count for this. I am at 41% right now. However, I really want to save this for our my sightseeing prompt of read a book with a thousand ratings or less on Goodreads. So we're going to keep reading this tonight, maybe? I doubt it. I think I'm going to probably switch over to something else because I feel like I need to pick up my next, you know, city book. And so role playing is one that's being recommended a lot in the uh, romance group chat right now. So that could be my pick. Uh, I can't read the rest of the story because that's single POV. And I might look at some of my pile of possibilities back here because as much as I want to read role playing and it would give me additional GRC, I do want to look and see if I have any physical TBR books that would work for this because I haven't taken I haven't picked up anything off my physical TBR yet and I would like to read a couple of things off of there. So I'm just going to take a little perusal, but the second prompt has dropped. Oh, what a chaotic day. Um, really, it's not been too, too crazy today for me. Uh, I did my detour yesterday. I didn't have a chance to read today because I went to work and I can't read at work, unfortunately. So when I got home, made dinner. I did a little unwind time and I was just getting into this. Like I read 40 or so pages of this and then the prompt dropped. So it hasn't been entirely chaotic, but it also hasn't been entirely chill. Good morning, everyone. I am reluctantly at my office because I would rather be at home reading role playing because that's what I decided to do. So last night, the romance group kind of decided to collectively read, well, a bunch of us decided to read role-playing, kind of unofficial buddy read style, and I got roped into this, so I didn't even make it over to my TBR pile to look through my physical books to see if any of them were dual point of view. I just decided to join in the role-playing read-along. <laughs> the role-playing read-along. Read-along. Oh my god. I need more coffee. <laughs> anyway, in total, I'm about 30% into this book so far, and I am absolutely loving it. I would like to be at home reading it and not here, but we will do our best. I'm really hoping I can just finish this in like a day or so and get, keep moving back to every time you hear that song so I can get that done for sightseeing, and that'll be two more books under my belt. I think I have two done so far for the readathon, and I finished Sunbringer this month, so things are going well. Uh, I'm trying not to do too much and get uh, burnt out on anything, but so far, so good. So I have to go back to work. Hello, everyone. Please ignore the baseball game behind my head. I have excellent news. My amazing readathon shirt is here and it's so nice and soft. I'm so excited that it's here. I almost forgot to go to the mailbox to get it. So I remembered, so everyone be proud of me. I am 50% into role playing and I am having the best time with this. This is about two introverts that I relate to in very different ways, but I love them both so much. Uh, I think this because they're very much like dancing around one another, but I actually like that because I like them getting to know each other a little more and how they both are like middle-aged people that like know what they want so they're just kind of like we're gonna be friends and we're gonna take each other at face value and we're not gonna be dramatic or crazy and I just I, I love I love that about them 
and I'm having a great time. The chapter titles are absolutely killing me. They're very funny and I am just having a good time. Let's see what else happened today. I started The Familiar by Lee Bardugo on sprints with Brittany and Kelsey. I'm watching their sprints over here right now actually and so I got to chapter nine that was the buddy read like pages for the day and I'm feeling kind of mid about this. Um, in this we're following, I'm not even going to remember her name, Lucia? Lucia? And she starts performing magic for her mistress uh, at her mistress's command and then she seems to be in trouble because it, like this is like modeled after the Spanish Golden Age which also included the Spanish like Inquisition and like some crackdowns on religions other than Catholicism because Bardugo is kind of introducing her own flavor and fantasy into this but now we've kind of gotten a competition element which I wasn't anticipating here and I don't want to say that's putting me off but like I've read so many competitions in books that I was not expecting that I was I don't know what I was expecting but I'm not exactly thrilled that that's here, but I'm also trying not to hold it against the book just yet because I'm curious about what the competition is even really going to be about because we don't have any details at this point. So I have finished that. I think I'm about 20% in and I'm interested. And that is all of the reading I've done for today. And I'm hoping to read more of role playing before bed. We'll see if I get to anything else because I am sleepy and today has been busy. <laughs> and yeah, so that's my update for this evening. I don't have any more thoughts right now. Hello everyone. So it is Wednesday evening. It is gently raining outside. We've had some storms this evening and it has been a lovely afternoon. So I finished role playing last night and I absolutely love this book. So I'm going to give it a 4.5. I do think the beginning setup took a little long for us, uh, but overall I think it was fantastic. Like everything else about this book was perfect, but the setup just, it was a, it was a little long for me. Uh, but our, our characters were wonderful. I loved Aiden and Maggie. It, this was funny and warm and heartfelt. And I just, I loved it. Uh, the, the rest of the plot was so good. And I, I just had such a good time with this. Uh, it was kind of hilarious so often. And I, I felt so related to these characters on a lot of different levels. So Ooh. I had a great time with it. Now I'm trying to finish every time you hear that song. And this is a separate vlog, so I'm not going to be thinking or telling you what I'm thinking of that, but I'm trying to get done tonight so that I can submit that for my under a thousand ratings on Goodreads prompt. And I'm really excited to get it done because I've been reading it for a little bit and I'll tell you a secret, I really like it. <laughs> so if you want more thoughts than that, um, I'll have a Nashville vlog up soon. Uh, but that is my update for now. I'm watching a baseball game watching Margaret's sprints and reading my audiobook. So I'm trying to chill. I stayed up too late finishing role playing. So now I am very, very sleepy tonight. So I keep yawning. So if things get cut up, it's that's why. But anyway, I'm going to go back to my book and I will update you when I move on or when we move on, whichever one comes first. Good morning. So I think I have told you that I finished when last time we heard that song. No, every time you hear that song. I think I told you about that book. So I'm going to tell you that I read a volume of manga called I'm a Koi. Now I'm in Love. I think that's the title. Volume one. This is Izzy's host pick for the readathon. And I enjoyed this. I have volume two now on hold at the library for hopefully future reading for this readathon. And I am off to work this morning. I have plans tonight to go into some activities that our local city is running, so I am going to be busy tonight. And I also have plans to see a couple of my friends tomorrow, so I am not sure what I'm going to read next, but I thought I'd update you that I read this this manga. 
it has been a while since I read manga and uh, I was into it when I was like just out of college but not like dive deep or anything just like I was reading it pretty frequently and I haven't read it in a while and this was fun so I am excited that this readathon is helping me read a little bit more of that and put a little bit more of it back into my reading. I guess I read Spy Family pretty recently but it's helping me broaden my horizons in the manga world we'll say that. But anyway, uh, I don't know what what's gonna happen today. Today is the last day uh, that I have to be in charge because my boss comes back on Monday <laughs> and I am ready for not to be in charge of everything. I'm a little worn out. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna get through today. We're gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun tonight downtown and I will update you again soon. But I just wanted to let you know that I have done two sightseeing books for this leg and I'm hoping to continue that trend. Like I've been doing pretty good with getting done with the city prompt and then also having time to do like a little sightseeing, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen when we get our next prompt since I have a couple of busy days here. So I've had this prompt since Tuesday? What are days anymore? I don't know. We've had the prompt a couple of days, so I imagine chaos is coming. When? Only Bruno's. Hi everybody, so it is Saturday morning and I have started Sweep of the Heart by Alana Andrews. This is the most recent installment in the Innkeeper Chronicles series and I am reading this for our brand new prompt, not brand new. It dropped yesterday morning, my time. So this, we're about 24 hours into our, our time and I am just getting started. I'm 10% into this book. Uh, last night, I think I told you we were going to go to like the downtown area and my sister and I wanted to get dinner and kind of hang out and that didn't quite work out. Like literally everything went wrong. <laughs> so we did get dinner. We came home after that, but I worked on editing a couple of videos last night. And then this morning when I woke up, I also was editing. So I haven't made the best choices. Like mistakes may have been made to get through this giant book in time for the next prompt. But I, my plan is that if the, if I get up tomorrow morning, I'm going to switch books if I haven't made it to 50% of this book. So we'll see, but I have read this before. It's a reread for me. So I have it on audio and I'm planning on listening to it today when I can. I'm going to a friend's house today to see her and my other friend. So like I have some plans this afternoon, but I should have some time this evening to like spend time listening to this book. So that's my plan, my hope and dream. And uh, yeah, so that's my update for now. I am very tired. Like, yeah, yesterday evening just didn't go to plan. And then we got up this morning and I've been a little bit busy, like just lots of interruptions that I can't just sit down and read. So I was doing some editing and uh, which doesn't sound, I can get back into editing quicker than I can my book. So I was just kind of trying to do that when I knew interruptions were coming, like people were coming to pick things and drop things off. So um, yeah, it's just been a morning and it's almost 11. So I'm gonna listen to this while I get ready to go to my friend's house. And then hopefully when I get back, I can sit down and do some good reading. Hello, my friends. I have the craziest story for you today and I'm so excited about it. So I went into my local indie with some friends today to casually shop for two books that I really wanted. The first was You Should Be So Lucky by Kat Sebastian and The Prospects by KT Hoffman. These are two queer sports baseball romances, which like you should know by now are right up my street. This is the, these were what I wanted and these are what I got. But I also went up to their, their used book room selection. Guys, I found something crazy at this, at this bookstore in the used book section. These are the peculiar taste books, which were a, um, Kickstarter like these are novellas that are like bound in their back and front um this is crazy if I didn't just find those I found these for so cheap 
I, I am so excited. I mean, look at this box set. This is beautiful. But also, like, I can't even tell you how pretty these are. Like, they are, they are so pretty. I can't show you the inside art, I don't think, because it's, it's not safe for work. But I, I, I don't even know what to do because I am so excited that I found these. And they're so gorgeous and they were they, they I just I talked to the bookseller and she was like yeah the the lady who like brought them in to sell them just decided to read them digitally and she didn't want them anymore she just wanted to have co contributed to the Kickstarter and I am just so excited I am so excited I have seen Steph from the Novelty Corner talk about at least one set of these and I just I don't even know what to do with myself. I was so excited when I, w I was with my friends and I was like, you don't, do you know what these are? Do you know, do you know? Do you know what it is on the shelf? And they were like, no, <laughs> I got to tell them. But yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, so pretty, so exciting. So now, you know what I have to do? I haven't read all day for the Amazing Readathon. I haven't read as like barely anything today. I think I've read a couple of hours of my audiobook this morning, and I either have to pivot or I have to read all night because I I, I need to get this leg done because um, I'm I have no idea when Brie Chaos is coming, but I feel it coming down the pipe. So <laughs> uh, I, I need I I need to go read now, but I'm just. I am thrilled. I can't believe these were. And now I'm like really excited because Face Off Weekend is next weekend. And I could probably read these for Face Off if it works in any way, shape, or form like it did last year, where you have read short things. I'm assuming. I, I'm, I'm assuming we are supposed to read short things and theirs are all going to be short. I need to go read now, but I just had to tell you because I am so excited. I got to hang out with my best friends today and I got really cool books and I got good food. It was just a great day so that is my update all right everyone so i've calmed down from my book buying excitement i am currently listening to my audiobook and watching a ball game i'm gonna finish editing this vlog and you will find out next week if i make it in time for prompt dropped four because i'm at 22 percent of my book right now and it is almost time for bed so we are gonna try to make it my tv is going crazy <laughs> The ads are going nuts, uh, but we're going to try to make it in time. You'll find out next week if we do it. But thank you so much for joining me on the vlog this week. Uh, if you have any thoughts or feelings or want to share anything about the books I talked about this week, please let me know down below. If you don't have anything that you want to talk about and you just want to let me know you're, you were here, just leave me a globe emoji for the Amazing Readathon or a TV emoji for my weird ads here at the end of the night. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!